Alright, let's talk about pages. Pages are pretty much the exact same thing as posts, except for they're a little bit more static and they're a little bit more consistent and constant on your site. And they're not so much something that you maybe want to put in your blog roll, but it's something that you want to make sure that every visitor has ready and available access to. Things such as your About Us, your Terms and Conditions, your Privacy Policy, your Contact Us page, all of those things would be pages instead of posts and they're a lot easier to access and they're a lot uh, they're a lot more static and they don't really change much so diving into pages here uh, basically on the navigation bar under pages you want to click add new or if you're in the edit pages section you can click the add new button right next to its title so click add new and you're gonna come up on, upon a pretty familiar page it almost looks exactly like the add new post page and that's because it is almost exactly like it um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just like post, you add your title and then you add your uh, content as necessary. And then all these options are exactly the same and things below it are almost exactly the same as well. A couple of different things about a page is the attributes right down here under the publish section. Uh, first of all, the one of the good things about pages is that you have the ability to create sub-pages within pages, almost like a hierarchy or a tree of paging sections. So, um, and the a good example right here is actually the one that's right below it. Basically, if you have an about us page, you can also put individual members of the of your company or something like that, or maybe your life story or how your company got there or or something about your site that maybe not just be covered in a single about us page. So it's good to have those sub pages in there as well. Um, another thing that you want to look at is the template. Not all pages are created equal. Sometimes you have archive pages, sometimes you have link pages, and sometimes you have contact us pages. And theme developers recognize that. And depending on the theme that you get, sometimes you'll have a different template that you can apply to your page. The one that comes with WordPress by default, and that's the one we have installed right now, has an archives and a links uh, template that you can apply to the page that you have. So keep that in mind if you're creating a page that may be not just a page full of content or maybe something that you just wanted to show as something else. And the last thing that you have an ability to do is your order. By default, you can they're usually ordered alphabetically, but if you want to, you can change the order of something if you don't want it to be alphabetical. So let's say if you wanted to have something be more prominent or you know one of the earlier links or maybe if you want it at the end, you can change the order of all your pages and you can do that right there. Um, and that pretty much covers pages. Like I said, it's a lot like posts and you're going to grasp this pretty quickly. So uh, those are the only really main differences about a page. So. All right, now we'll move on to the next section.